In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ROC curve from a logistic regression model. ROC stands for Receiver Hyphen Operating Characteristic. It is an old term, but we just call them ROC curves. So this is from the problem if, uh, if a family would consider buying an SUV or not. That's the DV. First IV is their annual or their monthly mortgage payment. And their second variable is their family size. So we already watched the other video on how to run this thing in SPSS. But this one I'm just going to do the rock curve. So what you do is you go to Analyze. Go down to Classify. And then down to Rock Curve. So your state variable, that's the ones with the ones and the zeros, trues or false. And our test variables are going to be mortgage payment, family size. Oh, and I forgot, the state variable, uh, the trues are marked with ones. That's what you have to do here. And I always like that diagonal in the box there. So we should get a three-line graph. And the one in the middle is, is you know, the 50% line, which is no big deal. And I think that's all we got to hit. Click OK. And there it is right there. So this tells us how many we had that were positive and how many were negative. This is the rock curve itself. And this basically tells you which one of these variables is the best predictor. You go by the largest area under the curve. That is your most accurate model. And I would say the, the best cutoff point to get maximized correct results here would be this point right here on this. Is that, um, looks like a green line to me. On that green line. So this would be a, if we take that line straight down, we would have a, a false positive rate. That's the same as one minus specificity. This is the false positive rate of about, I don't know, 1.6, 1 0.16, And the sensitivity, which is the accuracy of predicting a true outcome, is way up there, about 0.8. That would be your maximum model accuracy right there. So I hope this helps. MGZ out.